What are you doing in Mexico, American? I survive, and I don't think the city belongs to Mexico. Of course not. Since you gringos invited us, chases our farmers out, and subdued our pueblo. Back up a bit. I know how it feels, but I have nothing to do with this. I'm not even American. Do yourself a favor, save your ass, and get out of here. We're in a free state, my friend. I'm sorry. The conception of freedom has been lost a little in these parts. I'll make it a reason. Do you know what the problem is? That I don't care what you think. Get away from our land. Listen to me. Now I will not only step on your sand, but I will go and eat your fauna. And maybe I will light a beautiful fire with stars and stripes in your plain. Then I will go to the San Luis River, I will fish some of your fish, and I will eat to the health of Uncle Sam. Hey, son of a bitch! Okay, you insulted the Irish mother. The wrong one. Now the Irish is pissed. Well in the merry month of May, the from me home, I started left the girls and two were nearly broken hearts. And the father dear kissed me down, and mother drank a pint of beer, me grief and tears to smother than enough to reap the corn and leave for I was born. God has dealt my father, the banish ghost, and God has a brand new pair of brogues to rock the love of the bogs and fight from all the dogs on the rocky roads. A double of one to three for five, one to hair, a ten or two on the rocky roads, and all the ways to double a mack for all the gods. In bull and cattle, pride. They rested them so weary, started by the light next morning late And there he took the drop of the pure to keep the heart and strength And that's the paddy secure when there is off a drink And I hear the last he smile, laughing all the while At me curious tail to touch a heart I go from the astral girls I hired and wages I required Till I was almost tired of the rocky road To double and one to three for five But to hair and turn and down the rocky road And all the way to double and make for lowly down And double and mix the way that God It's such a pity to be so sick Ignoring you before you waste any more of my time. You just watch yourself, you hear?
You stole my prey, you bastard. I saw it first, and I shot it. So, it's mine. Try touching it and you're dead. <laughs> Do you really want to shoot a man for a beast? People are very pissed off these days and hungry. So why don't you do me a favor and leave? This is my land. I grew up here and fought to defend it. And now a fucking American threatens me? Mm, what a sad time. I'm not American. Make it a reason. Of course not. You Americans always try to defend yourself. You always invited our land, oppress our people, and now you want to hunt our animals? The American scum must die of hunger. I don't care about your shit. I just want to survive. If you want to, I suggest you fuck off. I challenge you to a duel. Tonight! At the cemetery, our ancestors are buried there, and some are fallen off war. In front of their tombstones, I will wet the earth with American blood. Listen, there was a misunderstanding. See you there, you son of a bitch. Enjoying the beast. <laughs>
Father, what are you doing here? I was returning to home with Doris when Lucia told me about the duel with the American. I came to put an end to this circus. Adelante, Father. Kill the gringo. I thought it was a correct duel. This accent, it's Irish. Where are you from? Finally, someone who asks me. From Munster, Ireland. <sighs> Pablo, cabrón, this is not an American idiot. Father, he was hunting in our land. He's a stranger. Better stranger than gringo. And now go home. You are dishonoring our country. And you are testing my patience with this bullshit. I am seriously considering tying you up and getting dragged by a mule to the border. The border didn't exist until a few years ago. The world changes, Pablo. It evolves. Do it too. Gringo, Irishman, what are you? The Patriots never close their eyes, and they never keep their revolver safety closed. Forgive him, my friend. He had a hard life. What's your name? Charles Simon Bell. How did you recognize the accent? You see, like so many old people in these parts, I was an officer during the U.S. Aggression War, Captain Roberto Valenciano. Veteran from the siege of Fort Mercer, from the battles of Churubusco, Chola Springs, and many others.
I commanded the proud Mexican unit, but when the government surrendered, I had to deal with the surrender of my men, and the American officer I had to deal with was of Irish descent. A good man who also became a federal sheriff after the war. What are you doing here? I survive. I don't like talking about myself. Rather, I hate doing it. But I owe you my life, and I need to vent. I was born and raised in Ireland, 17 years ago, in a family of peasants. In 1845, a great famine broke out. We lost everything. So we embarked for America in search of fortune. But once we landed, we found nothing but misery. So we wandered around the country living in tents, hunting like animals. When the war on Mexico started, my dad thought a career in the army could feed us. But after a few years he died during the siege of Fort Mercer. Of hunger, of thirst, killed by a bullet, it doesn't matter. The war took him away, and I stayed with my mother, trying to survive like savages, hunting and living in tents. The glory that my father's superiors dreamed never arrived. Glory is the nectar of fools, and as always, generals are terribly hungry. Even in Mexico, it was like that. Good men sent to death by incompetent people. Do you know what the irony was? That the generals were often the same landowners who owned those soldiers. A relationship of subjection both in peace and in war. I know it very well. I was a landowner. And look at me, a poor old bastard. I lost everything because of the war. I tried to teach my son the fertility of violence and revenge, but he fought her in the war. He saw his people die and lose their land. Once you start a war, it is difficult to cure the hatred that it generates. Losing your country means losing a piece of yourself. And I guess you know that well as an Irishman, even if you never have been united, I guess. I don't remember my country very much, but I remember the hunger that hit disorders. Perhaps the biggest problem is not losing the homeland itself, but the soil that can feed you. I suppose you are right. What is lacking is the will to help the poor, the different. Hatred leads to war, and war leads to more hatred. See? We are always there. I have lost everything. But history is impossible to control for us, little men. Now the Americans are the lords. New laws, new rules. Roberto, I don't care about America. This land has given me nothing, and I have a sick woman to feed. I've always respected the law, but the more time passes, the more despair comes over me. I see people on the roof, hot food, and have an irresponsible instinct to tear them all away. But I never committed crimes, perhaps in the illusion that if I behaved well, one day I'd be repaid. Why don't you join the army? Soldiers are paid regularly. I've always thought about it, but of being the general, 
leave my mother for long months. I don't know. I understand you, and I don't want to insist. It's not even my business, but I can help you. You're a hunter, aren't you? Very good. I am too. I went hunting for months to kill this rare animal. It's worth some dollars. I can't ignore the need for a sick mother. Thanks. Never give up into the temptation to resort to hatred and violence. Society will often be bad, but you will have to continue on the right path. The way of love and consolation will save us. Good luck, Irish man. May God help us. Vámonos. First time in town? Look all you like. Mother.